Right, good morning. Uh, it's uh, 10 to 9 in the morning on Friday morning and you join me on the 2nd of June and the second day of my club lakes being open again. Uh, I've come to the other set of lakes this time because I've spoken to a friend and the normal lakes that I fish are absolutely rammers and the fish look like they're about to start spawning. So I've moved on to these. Uh, I've come onto a swim that I've fished in the past. I've got uh, a rod over to the island and a rod down the edge at the moment. I'm on my third swim of the morning. Been here since about 5am, half four, five. Uh, I've had a tench so far, uh, stalking around this morning. And about an hour ago I decided to settle down for the morning, uh, well for the day basically. So I'm gonna be pushing a rig underneath the foliage on the island and I'm going to be fishing underneath this tree to my left and we'll see how this goes for a few hours right, update you if anything fun happens, speak to you in a bit right, good afternoon uh, it's half past five on Friday afternoon I last spoke to you a week ago when I was on the other set of the club lakes uh, basically my session went along the lines of out of tench in the morning not a great deal during the day and then the night I just caught tench and bream all night off the island swim. I ended up winding in and then in the morning I caught more tench and bream. So uh, I'm back down on the normal set of club lakes. I'm on the little one up in a top corner. It's very shallow up here. I've got the wind trickling in. It's been in this direction for a few days granted but with the lake only being about an acre or so I don't think you're ever that far away from a fish. Uh, things have changed though since March when I was last here. It's now very weedy and very very clear. So uh, I've got a PVA bag on the right hand rod with a drop off line, a uh, drop off lead on a little gravel spot I know of. Went down with a lovely donk and the left hand rod's got a little choddy just underneath a tree around to my left. It's a bit silty there. So I put a little short choddy on uh, with a signature squid on it. I've given a little handful of krill over the top and just a little trap set there. If any kind of thing comes around that margin, I'll be hopeful of a bite. Uh, the drags are done up quite tight. Like I say, it's quite weedy. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, might be a short one. I'm hopeful for a bite that'll probably be in the morning now, if I'm honest. So, uh, other than that, I'll speak to you in a bit. Right, good morning. It's uh, just coming up on 10 a.m. Uh, not a great deal happened during the night. I had a couple of beeps on my left-hand rod. Wound it in this morning a few hours ago. And the multi-rig had been pulled up tight. Uh, so, changed my right hand rod over as well to a multi-rig I've put that across to the reeds and nothing's happened for a few hours and I've just had a fish start fizzing on my left hand rod so it's uh, a <laughs> standby stations at the moment I'm gonna go and put the kettle on because you don't usually get a bite when you're watching a rod I'll speak to you in a bit right good evening uh, sorry about the uh, ad hoc nature that this is getting recorded, but I've left my video camera at home, uh, so you're on the mobile. Uh, it's Tuesday night. I've managed to get down here for a couple of hours so far. Uh, I've got tomorrow off, so I've got all day tomorrow if I need it, but I do need to prep my kit for the quarry at the weekend. I'm back on the small lake uh, on a, a swim called the Boards. I've seen a few fish today. I've looked around the big lake. There were loads of fish showing, but as I've walked around the, this lake, I've seen a few fish as well and since the rewards could be much greater in here I've decided to come on here. As you can see by the rods I'm having the fish locked up. Uh, they're up in the air just to try and bring the fish up in the water away from the weed. Uh, the lead clips are set to drop the lead instantly. I'm on a little bit of tubing and then multi-rigs on both rods now. Uh, the right hand rod hasn't got any bait around it yet. The left hand rod I've put about 10 spoms of hemp, corn and boilies over it. Uh, I say yet, yeah, the right hand rod is about to get a sprinkling of 10 or 15 boilies in the hole in the weed that I'm fishing in. Uh, you can see the big areas, I'm fishing up to the weed front on both rods and uh, we'll see what it brings. Right, if I don't see you beforehand, I'll see you in the morning. Okay, there's only one reason why that kit's out. I've just had a nine and a half pound fish from underneath that tree on my right hand rod. Uh, it's all a bit up close and personal. It's two beeps now to be on the rod. But yeah, well happy. Nine and a half pounder. I'll take that any day of the week. Right, good morning. Uh, it's just coming up on 6am. 
and uh, I'm in a good mood. I've just had a, my second fish, a little 12 and a half pound common. Uh, caught it on the left hand rod. It came uh, an hour and a half after I had a tufty on that rod, which came after a liner in the middle of the night. And that's been it really, status update done. Right, good afternoon. It's just gone four o'clock on Friday afternoon. It's been a week and a bit since I've last been down here. Uh, last weekend I was up on the, well sorry, yeah up on the quarry in Essex uh, fishing an army carpers match. I've drawn Deep Bay I think it is with Chris my partner and we've struggled our asses off to be honest. Made a few schoolboy errors and we've walked away with a blank. Uh, yeah, learnt loads. Probably haven't learnt anything uh, but uh, thought I learnt loads. And I've come back down the club lake to lick my wounds, as you can see. Back on the same swim that I was in on the last instalment on this, uh, where I had the two fish from. And the weather's changed dramatically. It's got really hot in the last week or so. And today it's actually quite a tolerable 20 odd degrees. It's positively summery, it's really nice. Anyway, I'm going to chuck the camera up over to the side and we'll see if anything happens. Speak to you in a bit. Right, good morning. It's uh, just gone half past six. Uh, last night was quite a good night. Uh, I ended up with a £20 14 ounce mirror at about 11 o'clock last night. So yeah, well happy. Uh, things this morning however have not gone quite to plan. I've had a massive liner at about 5 o'clock on my margin rod, which is where I have the carp from. Uh, I think it was a liner, don't think it was a pickup. But after that all the fizzling in uh, stuff stopped down there. So the fish had spooked off and I've had tufties on my left hand rod again and uh, they've not been coming up with food. They haven't been coming up with boilies. So that made me think that I've been cleared out. But uh, what I've done is I've given that rod, the left hand rod, a, a little top up, uh, two mini spoms and uh, a recast of a, a wafter, which is what I had the carp on last night. And the left hand, uh, the right hand rod, sorry, down the edge, uh, I gave that a recast and it's just dropping it in. I uh, gave that a recast and two little handfuls of bait over it as well. And uh, that's it really. It's half past six now. I've got what, five hours? Five, six hours and then I'm off. It's looking really carpy the weather. It's nice and overcast. A little bit of breeze so we might stand a chance. But yeah, if I don't, nothing special happens. You probably won't see this bit. Ciao for now.